This update is about how to update your Firefly firmware. There are two parts, discovery and then actually updating the firmware. So why do I want to update my Firefly firmware? Well, there are a couple reasons. First, maybe your software has bugs. Lots of software has bugs. I mean, there's a reason why MAD is gone from version seven to version 10 this year. Secondly, it may up help improve your AC's performance. Now, now, this is not true of all Firefly versions. We did have one person with version 2.65, so it was an absolute no-brainer for them. Um, some people may not need an upgrade. My version is 6.6. .6. The new firmware didn't address anything on my Patreon. So let's get started with discovery. First, I'm going to assume that this is powered off. So the first thing you want to do is hit the battery button, turn the power on, and allowing your Firefly to turn on. This is the home screen. I want you to go to the very bottom and tap on this cog. And I want you to write these two numbers down. The GUI, the graphic user interface, and the logic controller. These are the two important numbers you need to have. Next, we need your vehicle number. Now I'm going to step outside real fast and show you where your vehicle number is. Very easy to find. And that way you'll have it. I'm outside my driver's door, and right here is your vehicle ID number. This is the Midwest tag. This is your vehicle number. On a side note, by the way, people who are always asking about um, tire pressure, here is their recommendation while we're here. Let's get back into the vehicle. Now, after we have all that information, we're going to send an email to Matt. Here is the email I recommend you send. To your Matt advisor, subject upgrading my Firefly, and make sure you include the vehicle number. And then the body, my Firefly GUI is version 6.6, .6, controller, whatever it is. Do I need to upgrade the, my current firmware version? and then whatever else you want to say. Now this, is, this vehicle number is critically important. You should write this down. MAD, the way Midwest controls their database is by vehicle number. So if you reference this vehicle number, they can pull that number up in their database and they have your entire build sheet. So in other words, if you include this in, into the email, the person picking up your email can quickly access their database, look at this, Verify this and it will know if you need an upgrade or an update rather or not. So let's say you do need an update. Yeah. If so, my suggestion is to go to your local MAD dealer or Elkhart or to one of our rallies where a trained tech you know, can perform the work. If you choose, here's how to do it yourself. By the way, first, the first thing you need to do is obtain the correct firmware version from Matt. Now they can send you a thumb drive, you, they can send you an email with the information or FTP site. Uh, one person even suggested calling Firefly directly. The bottom line is get the correct firmware update you need. Next, I want you to turn your master switch off so there's no power to the Firefly. This is a blank screen in other words. Next step is to take a, a, a knife, the back end of a knife, or like a, a butter knife is even better, or a screwdriver, not the serrated edge, the flat edge, and very softly, the four corners pry this, this screen off. Now, the way I do it is I always put a towel between the knife and the cover because I don't want to scratch this wood at all. So you want to pry that off. After you pry this piece off, then you'll come up with the, the, the mad uh, the Firefly screen will be in front of you. There are four, in, behind this cover there are four clips. You want to take those clips off and then the entire Firefly touchscreen itself will be able to be pulled out and you can turn it around. The reason that's important is for this. 
Oops. This is what the back of your fire of your um, Firefly screen looks like. Note, there's that USB drive, that thumb drive. That's where we want to try. To, that's where we're going to upload an update if you want to do it. So um, now, what are the steps? So as you know, we've we've turned all it off. We've got the Firefly out back, and we've now plugged in the thumb drive into. The back of the Firefly. Then turn your master switch back on and while holding the Firefly with the thumb drive in it and as it boots itself up it'll take on that new firmware upgrade update. Now those last two steps about inserting and when to turn on and off your Firefly may change. It is really dependent on your firmware. So uh, listen to Matt. You may be told to keep the Firefly, Firefly powered on and plugged in to the thumb drive. Bottom line is follow the MAD process on uploading the new firmware uh, to your RV. So that's it. It's really not that tough. Um, the most important thing is that discovery piece, knowing if you need it. And frankly, most people did not need it at the rally. Most people needed other things. Another video I'm going to show you on, on making sure your settings are correct. But most people did not need uh, that upgrade. And I'll be showing those other settings uh, in a future video. Thanks.